for this topic, degrading security, we will look at this by uh, spy eye. All right, let's. And this spy eye is uh, one, one of the uh, banking projects, which is kind of uh, notorious as well. And also, it was known that you know, as of it was a, it was a year or two years ago, as a source code being uh, released. It is not released. The uh, attacker didn't release its code, but it just uh, probably released by accident. But anyway, so let's go to. Uh, I want you to have the virtual box manager open. So, of uh, course, of all, please close all the windows that you have. If you uh, if you had another uh, other windows open, let's close all of it. All right, and start the victim VM, and make sure you start from RC8 snapshot. Restore and start. And hold on, I need to get my slide. Mm -hmm. Sorry about that. Let's see. Alright, so page 26. So, and let's start webshot malware class tools. You see the webshot and start webshot. And for this one, we don't have to, uh, for this one, we don't have to uh, scan directory. Let's do a first shot. Everyone at the same page, it's a red shot. We got the first uh, snapshot. So we just got the uh, uh, snapshot of the clean state. And let's go to samples from the background. Yeah. No. Uh, samples and we will launch by eye. Right. Start. We just start the uh, spy eye sample here. Go to snapshot. No, if people are taking the second snapshot, let's let it run for a while so that we do the other actions that we want to uh, observe the uh, changes. All right. And sec now let's take second snapshot and compare. All right, and now let's see in question one, what did a spy ID I, I do, right? And this says in the console MSDN to find out the details because you will see there's a lot of registry key changes. However, you cannot uh, know, basically know all the registry keys, what they mean. So MSDN is always a good resource you can use. But since we don't have network connection, how about you can look at the uh, uh, this webshot result and look at the uh, I have a slide. I would usually recommend not to see the answer first. However, since we don't have an uh, internet co connection, let's look at the uh, page 27 and 28. It has it has uh, these registry the registry key uh, definitions. So you can look at those and then look at the red chart result and then analyze it. Alright, you can see. We're able to see the results. You see the uh, 
by uh, changing the uh, Internet Explorer setting. And how about this? When you look at the MSDN, does this definition help? Right? Because, see, uh, so again, too many registry keys, you can like uh, memorize all of it. So whenever you analyze, analyze the malware, you know, look up the MSDN, and then you can know the, uh, so uh, what the values mean. Okay, good. How about you, good? Okay, anymore? All right. Let's go over the results, okay, uh, uh, together. Okay. All right. So, let's see the result. And when you see here, that's just uh, the one that it caught me in my eyes, is this is a current user, right? We learned about the uh, HK CEO that the current user uh, is a link to uh, this uh, registry key. And okay, it created some a key. And how about this here? When we go over here, value added, right? It added a uh, Internet Explorer setting here, right? It adds some values. When we see the, uh, I would I would not go over actually all every items. However, when we see, for example, here. It says it set uh, internet setting zone zero, and then there is a one four zero nine, which means when you see the page twenty eight, you see the page twenty eight. It says one four zero nine is a cross site script filter, right? And how is uh, the value being set? Number three is number three here is do not allow the action right so it is saying okay if there is a you know cross-site script filter it said just do not run it right just allow cross-site script in a uh, uh, over the old zone when here when you look at it here this is a zone definition whether there is a website you are uh, access to uh, you know some trusted site or just you know some unknown site. No matter what uh, the, uh, the website you are visiting, it just says okay, don't just enable the uh, cross site script, right? This is basically how you inter interpret the result here, right? And one thing is then how do you know even you know this zero you know two three four or you know even how can you search it with you know kind of uh, like you know, you are an action flag on page 28, you know, or you are a police flag. How you know this one, right? So basically, what I take is usually, you know, at least you search maybe from you know this much of registry key name, right? Then they're gonna be hit, and then they're gonna be uh, you know, uh, article in there. But then this means you know, like a policy, right? Then when you look around there, or, you know, then you just know the detail. Right, because when you just uh, check the uh, register, uh, reg edit, then you will not see. Does this mean you know flag or policy? You know, you know, there's no those kind of indication. How MSDN has all the information, right? Any question about this one? It's very simple. Basically, it's a matter of how to interpreting the data, right? And again, here you see alarm setting. And you can interpret it based on the uh, this, uh, three tables on page 27 and 28. Right? Any question about this one? Right? Then we can move for the next lab. Right. How about let's go because I'm just uh, quickly moving because it's very straightforward, right? Okay. Let's close the victim uh, VM and uh, revert to the snapshot RCA.